One final note before we move on from the three-point cross. A genetic map is based on the frequency of recombination between adjacent genes. And so in our map of ACB, we know that A and C were separated by 10.7 centimorgans, which means that the probability that in any gamete, there's a 10.7% chance of a recombination between A and C. Similarly, C and B, <coughs> are separated between 14.7 centimorgans, which means that in any gamete, there's a 14.7% chance of seeing a recombination between C and B. And if those two events are independent, then the probability that they both happen is just their product, right? So the probability of both is 0.107, times 0.147 is 0 0.0157, <clears throat> which is to say that out of 740 gametes, we should have seen, we should have seen 11.6 double recombinants, right? Double crossing overs, but remember, we only saw six of them. What happened? What explains this disparity? This is actually a phenomenon called chromosome interference, where crossing over at one place on a chromosome reduces the probability of a second crossing over nearby. It's actually quite common. And how much of it happens depends both on the species and the distance between the markers. And so in most organisms, if the distance between two markers is more than about 30 centimorgans or so, this phenomenon of chromosome interference basically disappears. Why am I drawing your attention to this phenomenon? Well, it's because it's important to note that while we often assume that recombination is completely random, it's actually not, right? It's affected by other recombination in the area, but it's also affected by how tightly the DNA in a chromosome is packed into chromatin and by other things as well. This also means that the correlation between genetic distance the frequency of recombination and physical distance, the distance in base pairs between these genes, isn't as direct, like that correlation isn't as direct as we might sometimes like it to be, right? And so even with the ease and the inexpense of modern DNA sequencing, these ideas around genetic linkage, they still play a massive role in finding genes that are responsible for genetic traits and diseases, which is what we're going to spend the rest of our time this week talking about.